<laughs> Greetings, viewer. Eric the Car Guy here. Today, I have a 1994 Geo Prism. That's not so important because what I'd like to go through in this video is the process that I go through if I have a brake pulsation and I'm not sure if it's coming from the front wheels or the back wheels. So I'm not sure if I need to either have my front rotors machined or replaced or whether it's the drums themselves which are out of round causing my pulsation. So this is the technique that I use to isolate where the pulsation is coming from. Now I have to really, really stress that you need to make sure that you find a safe way to do this. You don't necessarily want to be doing this out on busy streets, things like that. Also wet roads, you know. You, Take this with a grain of salt, definitely be cautious when you do this. But this video will give you a technique that you can employ to figure out if you've got a pulsation in the front or the back of the vehicle. Ah, uh, like I said, you really want to see if you can find a place where you're going to be able to get it up to speed and be able to get the pulsation to happen. Then, just to give you uh, an overview of what I'm about to do. I'm going to pull up on the handbrake uh, with my finger on the button without depressing the brake pedal. And what that does is that only works the rear wheels. And that's how you isolate. So if, if you pull up on the parking brake and you don't feel a pulsation, but you do when you press the brakes, that means that your front rotors are most likely warped. If you pull up on the handbrake and you feel in your backside, you got like a, a vibration happening then, it's a real safe bet that your drums or rotors in the back are warped. Now, this brings up a very important point. There are two different types of rear brake, parking brake setups when it comes to disc brakes. Uh, there's a type of setup to where the, the parking brake cable actually goes into the caliper itself, and the caliper is responsible for the parking brake. And then there's another type that uses a drum brake setup inside of the disc brake or the rotor itself, just like a drum brake. It is a drum brake that is used for the parking brake. Now, in those type of systems that have a separate parking brake, separate from the rear caliper, this technique is not going to work. And for that, I'm going to say, really, that I, I don't know how to isolate those to find out if it's coming from the front or rear. But usually what I'll do is, if I feel it in my butt, then it's most likely the back. If you feel it in the steering wheel and the steering wheel shakes, nine times out of 10, it's, it's the front rotors. So take that with a grain of salt. So make sure you know what type of rear brake setup you have before you get started with this, because it may mean nothing. Also parking brakes that you step on, as opposed to the type that you pull up with like this, be extra careful because some of those have a locking mechanism to where the minute you push it down, it's gonna lock the rear wheels up. And the last thing you wanna do is be driving down the road at speed and lock up the rear wheels. Especially on a wet road, not a good situation. So th that's the long and the short of it. So I'm gonna take this car out and show you what I'm doing, but this is the explanation that'll clear it up for you. Now this is actually a fairly deserted road. There's nobody behind me. I'm just going to step on the brakes and confirm that I have a pulsation. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm feeling it quite a bit in the steering wheel. It's a hawk. Try this again, once again, check the rear view mirror. There's quite a bit of pulsation coming from the front. Now I'm gonna pull up on the handbrake. Nothing. So we have lots of vibration when we step on the brake pedal, but no vibration when we pull up on the handbrake. I think it's safe to conclude that our problem is with the front brakes and the front rotors have warped. Let's go back to the shop to sum this up. To me, it seems like a pretty straightforward operation. Make sure you use some common sense, like I said, as far as the area that you choose to do this in, but it's a pretty definitive test to figure out if your pulsation is coming from the front or the back of the vehicle. Once again, also uh, inspect your rear calipers uh, if you have them. 
if you have rear disc brakes and see if the parking brake cable goes to the caliper itself or it looks like it goes inside the rotor. Uh, if it goes inside the area where the rotor is, there's a real good bet that uh, what you have there is the type of parking brake that is actually part of the inside of the rotor and doing this test will virtually do nothing uh, to give you any indication of where the pulsation is coming from. Once again, in that instance, you're just gonna kinda have to feel it. If you don't feel a lot of this in the steering wheel, but you feel it in your butt, then it's a good bet that it's coming from the back. Uh, but if you feel it in the steering wheel, it's a good bet that it's coming from the front. Anyway, I'm Eric the Car Guy. You can always find me at ericthecarguy.com, Facebook, Twitter, and now Google+. Around here, close with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. And don't get mad about my dirty gloves in this car. Just don't do it. If you, if you wore these gloves, you'd understand. So don't be mad. Be glad. <laughs>